I don't know if we're back in business, if this mic setting is fine or not. Well, we'll find out after this video, won't we? So, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna start a new campaign in Monster Kingdom. It all started one fateful night, when the crown of Ardania was stolen. The next day, the priests of the Conclave, led by the Spirit of Kings, broke into the palace. Their intention, to overthrow the rightful monarch of the realm. It was only the foresight and experience of his good advisor that saved his majesty from ruin. Now the great king had to restore his rule. But where would he find allies to join him on this path? <laughs> Goblins? <sighs> well, looks like uh, start play. Okay, you do still have an order. And look, none of these expansions went to the Northern Kingdom. I feel cheated. Oh, well, let's begin. Your Majesty, Too low. Our meeting with the goblins is going even better than we hoped. At least we are not huddling in the woods under a tree, but rather dining in a well-preserved castle. We'll have to put up with the noise and drafts until the gnomes finish their repairs. But after that, these ruins will be a royal residence worthy of a king. In any case, the important thing is that you're still alive, sire. I suspected that the Conclave would eventually come out against your rule, but I never thought the priests would be so... impudent. Imagine stealing the crown of Arden and summoning the spirit of kings that it might take the place of their rightful ruler. I must admit, tis a brilliant plan. If they simply stooped to seize the throne, the Conclave would have great difficulty convincing the people that they were driven only by sincere concern for Arden. But this way, the priests receive universal support. And now you cannot even seek help from your loyal followers. Or the priests will learn of this and destroy you along with your rebel friends. But you do need an army, your majesty. An army the likes of which Ardania has never seen. An army of monsters. All those monsters against whom the great rulers have fought for so long. But they will help you now. Believe me, they will. Of course, they won't fight for free, but in exchange for the equal rights and freedoms that you will extend to all their kind once you are restored to the throne. First of all, you must unite the goblins under your banner. Of course, they are dressed more uh, ethnically than your normal soldiers and have more freedom in expressing their emotions, shall we say? But in fact, they are our brothers nevertheless. In a sense. That is to say, they sense. also call Ardania their home. I advise you to get used to the idea, sire. It's the best I can come up with. I am trying, you know. Did you sleep well in your new palace, sire? No. I dreamt of the victory of the first great ruler over Durgo Patches. the Cyclops. It <laughs> was a glorious battle. This dream was surely a good omen. Hmm. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> allow me to explain the situation. The, the conclave of priests, century. along with an army of Templars and treasonous lords and rebels, have united all the cities against us. On our side, we have the troop, and a handful of green men armed with spears. And ratmen, if they can be counted among men. All told, the enemy, as always, stands little chance against us. The first thing to do is seize the nearest city and organize a forward base of operations there. No, your majesty, of course you need not slaughter the entire population of the city. In the end, the common people are not to blame for the present predicament. Let us instead simply restore your legitimate rule, sire. Though the goblins have agreed to act as our allies, you have not yet become their true leader. 
For this, you must do something useful for your tribe. Fortunately, an excellent opportunity has presented itself. I have just learned that this time of year, the goblins begin their bear hunting season. Usually, a group of goblin archers gets together, drinks half a barrel of ale, and goes into the woods and wakes up all the bears. But this time, they have gone too far, venturing too close to human lands where well, they were seized by the local rangers. Rescue the goblins archers, and you will surely gain their trust. I see. Well, this plot to me seems a bit watery. You know, um, the Conclave, weren't they united with you just recently in the last expansion, and, and now all of a sudden they just seize it with the... How would you let the crown of kings be stolen? Not seriously. But I don't know. Uh, apparently they play a little... Oh, but you can put these buildings closer together, it seems. Sir, before the goblins Sire, got... Oh. before the goblins were captured, they did manage to greatly anger the local bears. The animals have tracked down the offenders by their smell and are now attacking their guild. And since these guilds are guarded by the rangers, they have had to deal with the bears themselves. Hmm... I'm not sure how many cutscenes are going to be in here, but apparently these buildings can be put closer together than other guilds, and there's some things. I don't know what this is. Abilities of Paladins of Grumgod, Abilities of Ratman Robbers, Abilities of Grumgod Shamans, Abilities of Goblin Spearmen. This must be a choice you make. Uh, all I can think of. So, Ratman Robbers, Paladins, I will try Ratman Robbers. Okay. Uh, okay. And there's none here, but there's some here. Okay. Well, um, I don't know if one limits the other. But I don't have any of the other anyway, so. Alright, well. Only six so far. But I don't know if I should keep recording or not. But I'll, um, I'll do a little camping. I'll kill some dens here. It'll come back to me. I don't have a blacksmith yet. See, he doesn't say the research is complete anymore. So I bet you I have that voice down way too low. Just like the last recording. And I don't know if my mic is, is up higher or not. Had some computer problems that I'll, uh, ex that I'll explain later. And my computer's sort of on the fritz until I get a new hard drive. So I'm not quite sure it'll last, but next week I should be able to fix everything. So I can play, but I'm just finicky. I don't keep it on as much as I, I was before. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm, I'm just going to kill these dens. I'm going to go up here, probably explore this. And there's a mini quest obviously down here, so I'll come back in a minute. What a lucrative trading post. Tis a pity that we cannot build more such posts. But wait a minute. Technically, you are a monarch in exile, tis true. But if you demonstrate to the merchants that you still have enough troops, for example, if you demolish the castle of the Traders Guild just a bit, then Richard the Lion Share will almost certainly agree to cooperate. After all, as they say, donkeys do not smell like money. Or was it the other way around? Your Majesty, twould be wise to make way to the castle of the Traitor's Guild. Is that it? I don't know where the castle is. Well, anyway. Okay. You know, what gets me is that, yeah, the crown was stolen from you, but you still should have the orb, the mantle, and the scepter. Or did you just leave them in your haste to flee? I mean, should, that shit should be in your bedchamber. Sire, the head of the local rangers was so impressed with how you dealt with the bears that they immediately ordered that you be granted free access to the goblin archer guilds. It's all for the better that you did not kill the traitors, for your merciful actions only secure your image as a monarch sympathetic to his people. Mm. I killed the trading post, but alright, well, Goblin, Goblin Archer Guild is a thousand bucks. 
Takes up a lot of room, too. That bear man, yeah, they kicked my ass. Damn. You can heal them up a little bit. It's a gradual heal over time, or like a regeneration, you know? But... Oh, that's my loot, you bitch. Well, anyway. I'm losing some heroes, but nothing special. Looks like I've got stuff down here. That's not mine, obviously. But this is. Oh, no wonder the Archer's Guild was a thousand. I already had one down here. Huh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I built two Goblin Archer Guilds? I built this one, yeah, I know, but... I didn't think I built another one. Oh, there was two for me already on the map. I get it. That's why it was a thousand bucks to build it. I was like, damn, it's expensive. That's like a wizard's guild. But apparently they gave you two, so I didn't need a third one. I don't like this bear man at all. Well, anyway, I bet you there's more on this map to reveal, so I'll definitely get back with you guys later. Those guard houses stand in the way of your first triumphant step towards your restoration to the throne. They must be destroyed. Tis an unfortunate loss, but there is no other way. They've been destroyed, and the road to reclaiming your crown lies open before you. I beg you, sire, do not hesitate. <laughs> These peasant houses, so they can't repair. Repairing's always a bitch when they do it. Yeah, I'll just blow these up now on the scene a bit. This is I expected, sire, a little pressure, and the head of the trade guild remembered you. He signed all the papers and put the necessary seals. In the end, there are some advantages in being the king of monsters. All right, well, got a lot of these guys here. You're level 16. But you have dramatically improved protection against all types of attacks. Hmm. You found something cool. <clears throat> I'll select you. Well. All right, this wasn't that long of a episode, so I think I'll explain what my... If you care, you can stop now viewing, but if you want me to talk for about four more minutes, I'll explain my computer, so turn off or keep listening right now. The... My computer needed a new fan. Well, first of all, I put in a new fan, and then I realized it was running hotter with a new fan. And then I realized, well, I put it in backwards, so it was sucking in air instead of blowing it out. So I reversed the fan. But at the same time, I realized that there was also a front port for a fan, too, so I bought a new fan for the front port as well. And I installed them both. Now, the problem is, is that I didn't think at the time how to put in the new fan because the frame on the inside wouldn't let the uh, screws and bolts through. What you're supposed to do is actually rest it on the shelf and then screw it in on an empty frame before you install anything else. But of course I had everything in already, hard drives, which is blocking the way. Now all I had to do was take some pliers and actually peel back a little bit of the, the blocking frame on the inside. You can't even tell. You can't, because it's like an inside, the shelf connects to an inside piece of the frame. And that's where I peeled off a little bit. Anyway, I took out took out the hard drives, thought I could do it that way, then I, before I realized I could just peel it back, it didn't have to do it, so I could attach the fan to the shelf and then put the shelf right back in, screw the shelf back in, it was easy. But before I did that, I, before I realized I could do that, I took all the hard drives out trying to get it in. When I put the hard drives back in, uh, I have a, uh, a striped configuration, they call it RAID Zero, which is a misnomer, but it's still, that's what you want to call it. Uh, well. I took out all my hard drives, put them all back in, but the problem is is that um, in putting in one of my four hard drives, which I thought was the backup drive, which it isn't, it's actually one of the two primary drives that you need to start the fucking computer, um, the serial ATA port cable sort of snapped off and the um, connectors got a little bit damaged on the primary hard drive. Yeah, this is a problem. So um, I kind of bent the connectors back into place, and now the serial ATA cable is just sort of, it's in there. 
but it could fall off. It's like when you rip off the tab on your LAN cable. You can put it in the LAN slot, but it can fall out if the conditions are right. That's kind of what's in this computer. So, I mean, if that thing falls out, I'm fucked. Um, but I've ordered a new external hard drive to mirror my hard drive, and then I ordered a new hard drive internal to replace these two. Um, so, let's we'll see how that goes. I don't think you can boot off of an external hard drive, which I don't think you can. No, you can't boot off a USB. But I'm going to try my best to mirror all the drives on this 2TB external and then take out the backup drive and then put in the new drive where the backup is, the one I don't need. It just It's, a, it's like 160 gig, 7400 RPM, 7500 RPM drive. It's, um, it's a small, it was big for the time, but now it's small. So now I'm going to replace it with a Velociraptors 450 gig, uh, which I got for a pretty good deal. Um, 10,000 RPM. I'm going to pop that in there, mirror everything onto it, and then use that as my primary boot drive. And if that works, I'm definitely going to remove these two, which it should work. I mean, I, I shouldn't have any problems. I think Godzilla can do this, or Mirrorzilla, or whatever it's called. Um, anyway, I'm gonna. That's my plan. They, they all come in next week. I'll mirror everything on the external, which probably will take like 10 hours, so I'll just put it there and go to sleep. And once everything is mirrored, I'm not sure if I can mirror every one of my hard drives. I have the primary C, which is of course two drives, and then I have like G and E or something, which are two other drives. I call one backup and one games, because I installed my games on one drive to, to free up the primary. But So if I can, if, if you guys know how, or if you guys know how the settings work, I would like to mirror all three of these hard drives onto the external as like um, individual. I don't know. It'd be great if this could just be if it could look like three individual hard drives. If I could mirror the hard drives onto this, so when you plug in the the external hard drive, it will it will look like three separate hard drives. You know, it'll it'll it'll, it'll say like uh, you know, H, J, and K or something. Um. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to copy everything on the backup and games drive. and Because um, I'm not sure you can mirror three separate drives onto one and have it look like three separate. I guess if you partitioned it first, you could do that. But I don't really want to partition the, the external if I don't have to. Well, anyway, that's just a heads up. Hopefully this thing holds out. I'm really afraid to move this tower at all. And So, anyway, let's... I'll get through the rest of these expansions, and I'll see you guys later.